Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on developing a college management system using PHP's one of the widely used framework Codeigniter. In this video I will discuss how to fetch the details of co-admin and the college to which that co-admin assigned to and display those details on the dashboard inside this table. Okay, So now let's start. Okay, so let's go to our editor okay so now we need to create a function inside our queries to get the details of all the colleges and their co-admins okay, so let me just create that function so okay let's create public function get or view all colleges okay and then okay so here I have created a function like so here in this table you can see I am trying to display the information of different tables college name I can get from the college table username I can get from the users table and then a role I have to get from the roles table okay so in this uh, video I have to uh, fetch the details from different tables so we will going to learn how we can join multiple tables and get the details from different tables to uh, display on our table okay so now let's do that okay so here I need to join three tables which is TBL users TBL college and then TBL roles so let's come here or function okay so I need to write this db select okay I'm going to select tbl okay Let's create an array and then tbl users dot user id okay i will i want the user id field of the users table and also i want tbl college tables college id college id okay and then tbl users table username okay i want the username from the tbl users table and then i want the gender from the tbl users table okay and then i want the college name from the tbl college okay and then I want the branch information from the TBL college okay. and then I want the role name from the TBL roles table okay. okay so all this information I want to display on my dashboard Okay, so for that I will I have selected the fields and now I want to tell from which tables I want to select okay this DB from okay from I want this table I want this information from TBL college okay and then I will join this table TBL college with my users table. Okay. We'll join TBL users table. Okay. TBL users dot college ID equals to 
टीवीएल कॉलेज डॉट कॉलेज आईडी ओके तो आई एम आई एम जॉइनिंग माय यूजर्स टेबल विद द कॉलेज टेबल ओके सो नाउ हियर इन दिस टेबल स्ट्रक्चर यू कैन सी आई हैव अ कॉलेज आईडी फील्ड इन माय यूजर्स टेबल एंड आई हैव कॉलेज आईडी फील्ड इनसाइड माय कॉलेज टेबल ओके सो नाउ आई एम जॉइनिंग these two tables users and college table with a common field which is present in both the tables which is college id okay so with this college id field i am trying to join both my users in college table okay so now i'm i'm going to copy this paste okay and then i will join my roles table okay i will join my roles table with my users table roles with role id okay and then i will join users table with the role id okay now just save it okay now here you can see in my users table there is a field called as role id and in my roles table i have the same field role id okay so this role id field is common in both my roles table and users table okay so with the help of that co this common field role id i am joining my users table and roles table okay so now with this uh, like this i can uh, join okay this way you have to join your tables okay now i have joined my tables users table with college table and users table with roles table okay and now i will create a users okay and the this db get okay i will get the details in the details uh, to users result okay so now this query will be going to return me all these details all these fields from users table college table and roles table okay now let's just come to our admin and come at the top and here inside the dashboard i will call my model this load model queries okay and then users equals to dollar this i'll call the model queries and then i will call the function that i have created inside my queries model I'll just copy and then i will paste it here okay and then i will okay let me just print this users equal pre okay copy exit okay and then print dollar users okay now let's refresh our dashboard okay it's not able to identify undefined use variable user id okay requires line 52 okay queries and 52 okay that should be users let's refresh okay now you can see i have three users I have three co-admins present inside my users table and that's why it has returned the details of those three co-admins with other information as well okay so here for this first co-admin you can see it's displaying the username which is coming from the users table so this username user id and then gender is coming from the users table whereas this college name is coming from the college table this branch is also coming from the college table this role name is coming from the roles table okay so since i have joined these three tables inside this queries function that's why i'm able to fetch the details from the different tables okay so now i am successfully fetch the details so what i will do i will pass this users as an array to the dashboard so that i can display the information to the users okay let me just copy paste it here okay so now i have created an array users and i will come to my dashboard 
and we are inside here I will create a PHP if condition okay if if the count of users okay if this users contains the data if okay and then else and if okay now i have three records in my tables it's uh, my query uh, my function present inside my queries dot php this function is returning me three records okay so now i am having the data because okay? that means this way this users contains the data now the count of this data holding is three okay so three rows this users variable is holding okay now i am counting here inside my dashboard whether this users variable contains any number of rows or not okay so now since i have three rows that means the count will be three okay so if the users contains any data then i will display the data otherwise i will display a row in that i will create a td tag and then i will give a message as no record found okay save it and now let's okay i have to iterate over those three rows okay so as we already know that we have three rows uh, returning to our dashboard now i need to iterate i need to use a for each to iterate to this array so i will choose a for each Okay, dollar users as dollar user okay and then and for each okay now I will display that data go so dollar first information will be dollar user okay user id okay since we are displaying the colleges here so i should give it an id of college okay and then i will just copy this okay next will be college name and the third one will be username and the fourth will be email Okay, and the role the next is gender okay, and then branch and here I need to create a link okay so for that I'll just copy this anchor and then I'll put it here and then should be view college view okay okay save it and now when i refresh then okay it's displaying the data but here it's making some trouble for this email and role information okay email and role okay now i think it's a role should be a role name save it and now let's refresh okay now role is displaying and uh, email okay so for this email uh, okay i think i have not selected the email information for that i will just copy this and i will paste it here and then here's email okay save it now let's refresh okay now it's displaying all the information okay so this is the college id uh, that you are able to see here okay college id one two three and uh, these are the college names and the users who have assi who has assigned as a co-admin for this colleges okay and these are the email id this is a role and gender and branch okay so now 
if I want to view then I can click on this view that functionality I have not completed yet okay so all this we will discuss in our next videos okay so in this video we discuss how to fetch the details from multiple tables how to join different tables and get the data and display that data on our home page or on our dashboard okay so i hope you like this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel i will see you guys in my next video where i will discuss adding student functionality okay so thanks for watching